Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. So let's talk about Kira special modes. There are quite a few cool things in here. One of the first things that is listed, it, actually the first thing that's listed is print sequence. Now you'll notice here it says all at once and that basically means exactly what it says. So this is going to print all the, all the models one layer at a time instead of waiting for one model to finish. Now you can change it to one at a time and in doing that you will need to ensure that your model isn't bumping into or excuse me your gantry your hot end isn't bumping into the previously printed model while printing the second model which requires some particular arranging on the build plate and measuring of the head of your printer to ensure that it's not going to knock into things so uh, that is a little bit tricky and a little bit particular it can be done done you just need to do it the proper way and there's a video around here on my channel for that somewhere so uh, go ahead and type in print mode uh, I think it's one at a time it might be single print sequence I'm not sure um, I'll try to find the link if somebody else grabs it just go ahead and throw it up down below I have been kind of busy lately but uh, one of the other options you're gonna see in special modes is mold and this will basically print a a mold uh, you can use it to mold silicone objects of the object it will print the reverse basically a negative cavity that is your model so you can mold it out of something else you can uh, cast it basically there is also a surface mode right now it sets a normal which means that it treats all surfaces let's see how did they word that <sighs> normally treat a model as surface only a volume or volumes with loose surfaces the normal print mode only prints enclosed volumes surface prints a single wall tracing the mesh surface with no infill and both prints both so basically if there are any edges hanging off on your model and for some reason you would like to print those as well you can set it to both or if you just want to get a abstract kind of print of just the outside surface you can set it to surface mode uh, spiralized outer contour is also what's known as vase mode there are some settings in here that you can change depending on what kind of vase you're looking to make and I use this quite often this is a setting that I have several videos on and you can simply search spiralize or vase mode and you will find those videos pretty easily and if you're playing around with special modes this other one is something you can feel free to try out as well it's as simple as turning it off it doesn't work for you but uh, most printers use uh, absolute extrusion you can change it to do relative extrusion supposedly that's easier for calculating the g-code so it makes it a little bit faster to slice and things like that but not really uh, an advantage if your printer is not capable of using it so that's one of those things where you're going to want to go ahead and give it a shot and if you don't see an improvement then maybe just turn it off and forget that it's there as always this channel is brought to you by the spine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.